is over. Yeah, um, really our goals have, haven't changed since the first half of the season. We're just always looking to get better every day in practice, um, taking it one game at a time. Um, you know, I'm really just trying to come together as a team. Okay, so what are some of the struggles that you guys have had so far, and where do you, where do you see room for improvement? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's no secret that, you know, we're really young and, and very inexperienced. Um, so we're really just trying to learn on the fly. Um, trying to, you know, act like we are experienced even though we're not. Um, and with that, you know, I think more than anything, like I said, it's, it's more about just us coming together as a team and developing that chemistry. Um, you know, that's, that's definitely been an area. You know, sometimes we have some lulls and I think it's more due to, you know, just being young. It can be tough. It can be tough. But they've done a great job. Um, they're, you know, eager to learn, wide-eyed about some stuff and, and just really wanting to do, willing to do anything that the team asks. Thank you. And um, earlier this year, you were a part of a documentary called Reveal on WME. Yeah, WME. So you went back to Christ the King. Yes. And it all started. So yes. what was it like to kind of go back, talk to those young girls, and just kind of the whole process of putting that documentary? Together? Yeah, it was really cool, you know. Um, obviously, when you get to look back on your life, you get to um, talk about some things you don't normally get to talk about. You definitely get to go down memory lane a little mm -hmm. bit, reminisce, um, especially because it was at Christ the King. I got to see some coaches and some people that I hadn't seen in a really long time, and I also got to talk to the team. So it was just really cool to, to kind of, um, like I said, reminisce and just kind of go through it step by step, year by year. And uh, I enjoyed it as well. And we have something in common. We're both Long Island girls. Hey! So, Hempstead. <laughs> okay. Hempstead. We were cool until we had to get on whatever field yeah, yeah, when it came yeah. to the game, right? Yeah, yeah, we played against you guys. Yeah, it was nice and you don't see us every time. But anyway, um, so when you come back home to Long Island, what are your favorite places to go to? Oh, like, I don't know how often you get back. Yeah, I don't, I don't really get back that much. Um, but in Syosset, um, I always go to the bagel store down the street, which is called Bagel Master. Um, by far, in my opinion, I've traveled the world. I'm gonna hype this up a little bit. I've been in many, many countries, <laughs> many, many cities. When you go to such this bagel store has the best bagels in the world, without a doubt. Okay. So, like, what's, uh, what's the culture? Everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. Every now since it's crazy, but strictly everything. Um, yeah, so that's the spot. I always go there. And then, to be honest, otherwise, I mean, there's a Greek place I like to hit. Um, but my, I like my mom when she cooks. You know? Home cooking is like the best place. How can you beat that? She knows so exactly what you like and what you like. Yes, exactly. So thank you so much. Yeah. for the